of a cathedral radio made in 1931. This is a really nice cathedral radio because it has um, mahogany as its wood. This right here in the middle is kind of like flamed maple and the knobs are mahogany. It's an airline radio. Not sure how close I could get. Was uh, Montgomery Ward did that. As you can see here on the end, it's not totally, uh, you've got a little bit of a piece right here that kind of comes down really nice here and then right there it bumps out and that was, and then bumps out again as you could see there. Uh, hard to do compared to just having it sloped like most cathedral radios. And of course, uh, I believe this, I, it's hard this time of day to get any stations. See it works. And uh, brings back great memories. Was, uh, you know, we did some special things, you know, in Indianapolis. Uh, Not coming in very good. Now. Of course, today, Bobby is appearing on behalf of the Capital One Club. Is it a big year? The club is you guys going to And you turned it on. I can now bring the light over. There's the toggle switch. You turned it on back in the day, 1931. And the trophy gets the word to the winning. And uh, this is a nice radio because before 1930, cathedral radios were non-existent. People had. Uh, I'll just turn this down. Turn that off. The radios were three boxes. You had a battery box, which was uh, like a car battery, and you had to go to a filling station to charge them. And then you had the speaker horn. Later on, the speaker horns were covered in a cloth, kind of like the speaker horns we have today in um, <clears throat> stereos. And uh, then you had the radio itself, and it was called a radio set. And that's where we get our term TV set, even though with a TV there's always been one unit. And uh, when they electrified the radio in 1928, um, they decided, obviously, you get rid of your battery. And they put the speaker, which was normally on top of the radio. You could just lift it up and carry it or whatever. It was loose. They decided to put it on top of the radio here, but incorporate it. and looks like a cathedral. Of course, the, ne the name Cathedral Radio was coined in the 1960s. Back then, they just called this a radio. <laughs> so that's my 1931 radio, cathedral, nice shape, mahogany, mahogany knobs, brass plate there, works. This time of day when the sun is out, um, kind of interferes with radio signal, so. Nice cathedral radio, very important back in the day. This was a high-end high piece. It would have cost you quite a bit of money to buy this. And um, during the Depression, everybody's reminded. He ever, every time you see a flo uh, photograph or movie in the background is a cathedral radio. And that was their TV set in the day and everybody gathered around and listened to, you know, uh, Jack Benny and Bob Hope and all their programs they had in the day. Thanks for watching.